hey hi hello and welcome back to the channel or if you are new here welcome to the channel my name is sj i'm an adult doll collector who just wants to talk about dolls and i'm joined today by la and do you have the skultimate secrets monster high dolls do you have a bunch of keys are you trying to figure out what to do with those keys because you really only need one to open the lockers well that's what we're gonna do today I sound like an infomercial. <laughs> so we have all the Skultimate Secret Stalls Wave 1. And we have about 20 keys. And I was trying to figure out what am I going to do with all these keys? We only need, you know, maybe four or five of them really to go with each one. Or even just one because, like I said, only one opens all the doors. And I got the bright idea to make like a necklace like each of us can have like a mother daughter necklace best friend necklace with like one of the keys so <clears throat> we have our keys Yay. we have scissors we have string a bunch <laughs> we have beads we have jewelry stuff yeah i don't know what any of that jewelry stuff is this could go great or it could go terrible because uh I haven't made jewelry since I was in high school and we used to get like the little stretchy cords and put like beads like this on it and like the ones with like the letters on it. I haven't done that since high school. So yeah, let's uh, see how this goes. Okay, first up, pick what color key you want. It's hard to choose though. I know there's like all different ones. These ones were Draculaura's. Do you want any of hers? Why is there two gold ones? I don't know. Claudine came with one and Laguna. Came. No, Cleo. Cleo. And Cla That's Cleo Laguna. and Okay, yeah. Cleo and Claudine both came with a gold one. I think I found the key I want. Yeah? What color? This one. That light pink one? Uh-huh. Here we go. <coughs> So if you're choosing a light pink one, <coughs> maybe I should choose like a dark pink one to go with it. Okay. Does that one look good? <clears throat> I think it looks good. Wait. Okay. No, I don't like, I don't want the light pink one. Let's get a dark pink one. Okay. So you have a light pink key. I have a dark pink key. So here's the keys we picked out. This is my mom's. I don't know what I'm going to do with the rest of these keys. Here you go, mom. Thank you. All right. <clears throat> I'm trying to find a string that's this color. Choose your string. Can I find the string that's this color? Light pink. Let's find out. Is this close enough? That's, that matches perfectly. Uh, yeah, that matches. Let me find your... Oh, you're going to find mine? That pretty much matches. It's my mom's. All right. So we've got our keys and we've got our string. Um, Next up, I guess you're going to have to like choose what length you want it. Like, do you want it choker style? Do you want it to hit right here? Or do you want it all the way down here? So I want mine to hit right here. Right there. Okay. So that's what we're going to do. We'll be right back. Okay, so this next step is pretty much optional. So you can choose to just tie it if you want to, or you could find a way to put like a clasp on there, like a lobster clasp. That way it's easy on, easy off. Also too, because the way these are, they're not gonna sit like perfectly like this. So you would have to add like a jump ring to the end of it. So, we're gonna attempt to add a jump ring to these and I don't have pliers and <coughs> pliers are kind of required to be able to open the jump ring and close it. But um, I'm gonna try and figure out how to do that without a pair of pliers. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is basically a work with what you got and figure it out as you go along. In case you're wondering what a jump ring is, this little silver circle 
is a jump ring. Mm -hmm. And I actually was able to get it on without a pair of pliers. Like it was easy open, easy close. So that worked out well. Okay, so now's the fun part. Bee. Choosing whatever color beads you want. Bee. I got this at Walmart mm -hmm. for, what was it, like $12.99? Doesn't say on there. But I got this for like basically $12.99. And there are 2,300 pieces. And all different colors. Um, I chose dark ones because, I mean, these keys are kind of dark. Um, they had like pastel ones and crystal -y type ones that you could choose from, but I kind of <laughs> liked these ones. So we're going to choose our beads. All right. The necklaces are done. I got the jump rings on. I'm pretty sure there could have been a nicer way to do this, but you know what? It works. So here is LA's and she chose colors that matched <laughs> Bonnie. So it's dark blue, gray, pink, red and blue. This pink is for the eyes. This is for the tip of the blue hat and the button. And you probably just slipped that over your head. Yeah. <laughs> so here's mine. I don't know, I chose black, dark pink, light pink, gray, and white to kind of match the key. I got my jump ring on mine. So. <coughs> You're good. Mm -mm. So, yeah, I can kind of just <coughs> slip it over my head too, but yeah. So, yeah, these are like just like a cute little craft project that you can do if you don't know what else to do with your keys that you have for the Ultimate Secret Dolls. I mean, you could probably make bracelets. You could make keychains, even though it already comes on a keychain, but make it look prettier, fancier, whatever. Yeah, so now we have little... Mother, daughter, best friend necklaces. You like them? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm wearing mine to school. You're going to wear yours to school tomorrow? Yeah. Well, I don't think I can wear mine to detail trucks tomorrow, but I'll wear it when I drop you off. Yay. Okay. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this little, like, DIY craft video, and hope to see you in the next one. Love you. Bye. Bye.